What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and Anchor has released a brand spanking new battery bank and this is exciting because this isn't your typical battery bank that uses, you know, Power IQ or Qualcomm Fast Charge. This uses power delivery like this Anchor 26800 here. Use this watt for a while. I use it to charge up the Nintendo Switch. I use it to charge up my Chromebook. But this little guy is a smaller version of that that does the same thing. This is the Anchor Power Core 10,000 PD Redux. So let's go ahead and open this up. We have a little carrying pouch with some cables inside it. We've got our Type C cable. And it's a very generous length too. You think with the battery bank being right next to your phone, you wouldn't need something very long. And this is actually a pretty generous length there. Some instructions and then the actual battery bank itself. So if you're familiar with the Google Pixel, you will know that it uses type C to charge. And with the official charger, it says charging rapidly. And with some chargers, it just says charging. And with some, it says charging slowly. Now, with this power delivery bank here, plug it in, press the button to see that we have two of the four LEDs lit up. So we need to go ahead and charge this thing later on. And then we'll plug it into our pixel here. And we should see charging rapidly, which instantly it changed to charging rapidly. Awesome. We're gonna get a very nice charge now and our phone will be full faster than it would be with a normal charger, such as if we were to use the Power IQ charging port there. And we actually have an app called Ampere, which you can tell from the Google Play Store, that will tell you how fast it's charging, which that is a very, very good speed. <laughs> That's actually very fast. So this little guy will be amazing for that. This is Anchor's 10,000 as well, and this is what we have been using for quite some time. Actually, this has been a lifesaver. I have one, my wife has one, we both have our own, and it is just being a godsend. But it charges off a of micro USB and it uses Power IQ. So if we unplug this phone and plug this in, you will see a different speed and it will not say charging rapidly. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But that's not power delivery at all. That's actually pretty good. So if we were to take this and plug it in, it's about the same. But we change it around with this uh, power delivery port here, and we see nearly double the charging speed. Now this fluctuates depending on how full the battery is, how warm your phone is. Lots of different variables go into like exactly what the top end speed is. But that's freaking awesome. And you charge it off of type C. So you would plug this into the charger that came with your phone and now you're charging up the battery. One thing I'm curious about is, can we power another device when it's charging our phone really quickly? Will both of them work? All right, so we have this USB fan. I'll just go ahead and show it. So we'll go ahead and plug it in and the fan turns on. Let's see if we can also, oh, so it kills power to the, no. It switched over. It killed it for a second and then it switched over. So can we charge up our phone and use that? So it's a little bit slower because it's drawing power out of both ports at the same time, but you can power two things. Let's go ahead and zoom out here so you can get a better look of this USB fan I bought on Amazon. And we've got both of them going off of this one battery bank here. So I'll unplug this. and then we can plug it back in. That's really freaking cool, I like that. You can use both of them at the same time. And this is gonna charge really fast off of that power delivery port if you use a charger that supports it. That's cool, so we get a really fast charging speed. It jumps up to three sometimes, but then if we plug a fan in, it does lower the charging speed because it's using both ports, obviously. And also, if our battery is about to die on our Chromebook, we can plug it into the Type-C port. The little blue light comes on. And look at that, 
it says that our battery is full. I believe it only uses like 25, 30 watts. This is 18, so it won't charge it like as fast, per se, as a normal charger like a, that you plug into the wall would, but it will charge it very fast. For example, if I were to use this battery bank and plug it in, we get a little pop-up that warns us we have a low power charger with this guy connected, but if we unplug it and we plug the other one in, does it also say low power? It doesn't say low power. It says AC adapter. Look at that, man. This little guy right here, if we plug it in for a little bit, it does say low power charger, but it's going to charge it better than this thing would. Now we can keep our Chromebook topped off if we're out somewhere and we need our, you know, to use a laptop. I will have a link to this little guy in the description below. Huge thank you to Anchor for sending this out to me for a review. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.